boy boy i i don't even know how to exactly explain this so uh in my in my discord uh, zip or leonard had a very interesting idea that i've been hard at work tinkering with so first off we need to we need to build one of my other structures so my little shulk board here my multi-block structure go ahead toss in one of these a shard of power a jailer's eye and then an end crystal we should be able to get something else so end crystal don't pick it up please damn you you all there no i got the end crystal i got the shard of power it's the only thing with this structure it looks neat but dropping stuff onto it consistently is sort of an issue there we go so the end crystal got changed and now we have a Dungeoneer expertise and the and the constant shrieking. That's that's also annoying. So next step, I need to set this up with a fletching table. So fletching table, uh, glow item frame, and then our end crystal can go in there. Then I need to summon a nitwit, which is trouble in itself because I don't. Oh no, never mind. There we go. We summon a nitwit, and you should get a job, right? So you should transform any day now. You don't move away too much. There we go. And now we can see he's got some unique trades. So we have our Dungeoneering Field Glass, our Item Teleportation Orb. But this is this is the important one that I want to look at. My Enchanted Satchel must be kept in the top left inventory slot to activate every eight resources. The matching type gives 5% in a respective attribute. So this, this is the system that Leonard uh, thought up was a way to detect stacks of items in a player's inventory and give a, a dynamic buff in response. So lucky enough, I do have the rights. No, I don't. I need more of them. There we go. So I do have everything I need for this. And as it says, it needs to be in the top left corner. So if I go over here, this small little system, this is all I need. If I go ahead, how can I present this so you can see? I think, yeah, there we go. We can see the redstone. So I put this in the top left corner. Redstone. Take it off. No redstone. So every time this is placed in this top left corner, as it says in the little paragraph down here, move from inventory to refresh the bonus. So every time it's placed in that top slot, it's essentially applying the bonus using these command blocks to the player. Now, as long as you don't jump away and die, we can, we can move on to the actual bonuses. So every eight resources of the matching type. So we check back with his trades. He's got some enchanted resources. I guess it, it's correct because they're only one, they're not a stack, but it should be S, I don't know. So we've got health, movement speed, attack damage, armor, armor toughness, and attack speed. I didn't bother with, was it knockback, knockback resistance, and is there a third one the player can have? I don't know. These are the main ones that actually serve a purpose. Oh, luck, luck. I mean, luck's decent. Anyway, next step, I need to figure out how to give myself this, this bloodied ash. Because usually you get it from my... My dungeon mobs and i don't really want to generate dungeons and and try to get it i'm just going to get the data so i can give it to myself okay that should do the trick we should be able to generate the resource perfect yeah so i've come up with a bunch of different resources uh if we multiply i'm gonna need a lot i think to buy Ooh, and we should probably move that so no bonuses okay i think we'll do movement speed since that's probably the easiest oh Cap trades, not. We can fix that. Perfect. We'll just make a new one. <laughs> uh, I think I kept the trades at six two, which is an issue. They should be capped at eight, since uh, the intervals for the enchanted satchel are eight. They were six. I was sort of playing around with what's a good interval. I ended up just going. Can you? Oh, you can. You can just cheat it. That's perfect, actually. Uh, I I was trying to figure out the best sort of. Uh, mix, because right now the whole idea behind the Enchanted Satchel is if I were to put the whole stack of 64, we get a 40% bonus, but I can mix and match with all the different resources. So say, for instance, I want to grab 32 of the movement speed and 32 of the health. Well, then I could gain the health bonus, uh, which would be 20% rights. Yeah, five times four and 20% movement speed. Same with all the different ones. So you can mix and match to gain a different level. Sorry also for the, the horrible inventory. I usually, 
I usually clean it, up, clean it up before I record anything, but I just really want to try this out because it is pretty neat. So for instance, uh, we'll do this, 32, 16, and eight. So this is generally the, the different versions, right? Eight, six, oh, I'm missing 24, I'm missing a couple. Anyway, if we stick eight in, we have a slight movement speed. You can sort of see the fog, plus I made that jump. Yeah, so slight zoom in. We go ahead and increase it to 24, now even more. And then likewise, we go up to 56, even more. And if we cap it out at 64, we get a 40% movement speed. You might as well just showcase the blending, since the blending is probably the most beneficial part. Our arm won't do anything if I equip anything. I guess, I guess we'll just show off health. That's probably the easiest one. You know what? What am I saying? I might as well just grab them all. That one, armor. And attack speed, perfect. So I'll hop into survival somewhere else. I don't want him coming after me. Down here, this is where I normally like to do everything. So game mode, survival. Okay, so we'll do HP first. So no movement speed, we can get rid of the button. Uh, gold, right? Yeah, so we stick all the gold in there, 64. And we get four extra hearts, because it's only 20%. The whole idea though is there's lots of ways in this, in this map to stack up different and bonuses so then this is a flat multiplier on top of all that should be pretty decent i might tweak it as well maybe uh decrease it to four and that way you can get up to a a 80 percent bonus i don't know i feel like it's pretty pretty overkill but what if we have it we should lose the bonus oh no, no no right you don't lose hp until you actually lose hp so that's not going to work uh arm is a good one so, you know what, I need, give me a sec, I need to clean my inventory. Right, that's much better. Nice and neat for us to go over everything. So we've got a full netherite set, which is 20 armor. As you can see, full, full bar, 10 pieces, yada, yada, yada. If we go ahead and we'll do the full stack of the iron. So this should be a 40% bonus to our armor. Chuck it on. And I don't, oh, does armor not show? Pretty sure armor used to go above, didn't it? No, armor toughness doesn't show anymore either. Didn't it used to be blue? Yeah, so unfortunately, unfortunately, realistically, the only ones I can show off straight away are movement speed, health, and I guess attack, that, attack speed. So that's with, without. The recharge is definitely quicker. Uh, I should probably grab an ax. Then, case in point, mix and match. So you want a little bit of HP, you want, you know, a little bit of movement speed. Again, they have to be multiples of eight, so we'll do 16. And then I guess, will it just take the rest? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so right now this satchel is giving us a slight bonus of movement speed, a decent amount of HP. So if I were to do instant damage, I would spell. Yeah, we should drop down to just two hearts extra. Yeah, perfect. And then of course we've got our movement speed and we have our attack speed. And you can, again, mix and match. That's the that's the main <laughs> point of the system that I'm trying to get across because I'm saying it over and over. So this should be three hearts. Or should, yeah, they're perfect. And then the rest could be, you know, movement speed. And we go a little bob increase. Need to look into armor. So I'm pretty sure you can have values above 20, even though it doesn't show anymore. Curious about that. But yeah, what do you think? Pretty neat. Again, would never have thought of this concept uh, without, without you, Leonard. The best I had was the armor sets that give you potion effects, but this is just, this is definitely the, the final piece that I, I got to say is the crowning jewel of this map, being able to unlock this, this sort of mechanic and item just seems so neat to me that you can, you know, like you could do eight of every little thing. And then you just gain a slight bonus all around. You know, and that's de decent in itself. I think we'll do that. I'm missing one. No, there you go. You can even have one extra. But if I were to grab my data, for instance. It's the me. Uh, can we find them? No, we have too many items in inventory. Never mind. 
that's buying a wrong tree. But, you know, for better or worse, you can sort of see it all. <laughs> Pretty decent. Yeah, it might, might up the, the bonuses or increase it. It's not too hard, I just have to add different levels. I do have to hard code, that's the only issue. There would be a simpler way with potion effects. Would there actually? No, you'd still have to hard code the different values, I think. Yeah, never mind. Be the same if you were to do potion effects, low potion effects for the majority, only stack up to five, and then there's no real benefit. Anyway, I'll leave the, I'll leave that be. Pretty neat. Sorry, I'm just so excited. It's just, I gotta say, such a cool concept. Sad that I didn't think of it, but I'm glad I could execute it in this fashion. And it's definitely gonna be like one thing I build into every every type of map I make, just because it's so simple to set up to. Like that took no time at all, and it just. So bonuses, bonuses, and I could easily code it so you could have different um, satchels, you could have multiple satchels, you could do different things, it's just, it's pretty epic. So yeah, 